What is going on guys? My name is Dustin. Welcome back to the Minecraft channel and welcome back to this townhouse tutorial. So we're going to start at the interior and before I start I want to say make sure you check out Dawson's YouTube channel. The link will be down in the description below. Go subscribe to him because he did start designing this house and then it just got finished by me and somebody else. But you know, since he started design credit goes to him. And what we did in this episode guys, I kind of started to freestyle the interior. Now he had a floor plan kind of laid out but we haven't built together in a, in a while. So, I just thought, you know what, let's try to freestyle this. I think it'll be fun because I'm not that great at interior. So, this is kind of like the floor plan I came up with. That TV doesn't need to be there. But, yeah, we have some stuff to fix in the next episode and stuff like that. But we kind of got the floor plan laid out. I think it's really cool. Not bad for, like, my second or third try at ever doing interior. So, yeah, guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Alrighty guys, welcome back, and we're going to continue on with this townhouse, and what we're going to do is, I've made the decision, we're going to go ahead and like freestyle this interior, and what I mean by that is we're just going to go ahead and just freestyle an interior. Now, before we start, I'm just going to tell you now, I am not the best at interior, just so you guys do know, I'm not great at all, so hopefully... Um, I can, I can make something happen here. Uh, I'm terrible, absolutely terrible with interior. It's probably the worst thing ever. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Let's think of some materials. I forgot to shut off my notifications because I'm a bad person. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do that right now. So let's see. Boom. Okay. Okay. So like I said, freestyling the interior. Now let's kind of think of some wall colors, right? I really like the kind of sandstone and sand look. So I think we're gonna go ahead, kind of stick with that. Let's go ahead and grab some pillar quartz as well because I like doing like a little trim design. So when we walk in, I wanna keep it kind of what, like how Dawson had it where you kind of had like a little room and you come in this way. Okay, so then you would walk in, kind of have the main part of the house. And what I was thinking is like, I mean, this is going to be all like one, one house for like just a family, you know what I mean? If you role play it. So three floors, you know, we'll have like the main stuff on down there. We can have some rooms up there and then whatever up there. So let's go ahead and kind of figure this out. So I kind of want to keep true to what he had, like I said. So we're going to come out and we're going to do something like this. So there's three, let's come out like four, I think four blocks will be fine. We can go ahead and take a pillar up just like this for right now and then we're gonna come over like one two three and that's gonna leave us like a nice space to kind of just come in and maybe we'll come up for just kind of come in and um, you know walk through so the, what we'll do is we'll put a pillar right here so we'll hook it in let's bring this pillar up and this is gonna leave us with a nice three block gap so like I said it's nice you can come in uh, we'll do something here and then we can kind of like start sectioning off this room a little bit so what I think I want to do is we'll go ahead and let's let's bring a trim across the top because I think that looks really nice and clean like that. I know that looks a little weird, but um, trust me, maybe what we can do is bring an extra pillar up here. And uh, what we can do here to kind of hide this, we'll put like a little armor stand there and we'll put like little little coats and stuff on it. And I think it will look really cool. now. I don't want to do this all in one part, so I don't know how many parts this is going to take to do, but um, we're just going to kind of go for it and just see how it goes. Like I said, I'm terrible at interior, and I know I'm probably going to catch a lot of crap for it, but that's fine, because <laughs> the only way to learn is to just, you know, you just got to do it. Interior is something I was never good at, but you know, sometimes you just got to you just gotta go for it, and that's what we're doing here today. We're going for it. Okay, so, very tall ceiling, which is fine. Um, something like this, I mean, we really can't cover up too well. I mean, maybe just take some pillow quartz up. Uh, you guys can kind of work out where to put the door or how to do the door. I'm not going to worry too much about that. And we kind of need that there um, because that is 
kind of our design. What we can do actually to kind of hide this away a little bit is just simply throw a painting up there. Uh, this is going to be terrible and I, I do apologize guys. I am not the best when it comes to things like this. So I want a one block painting. So that's what we're going to go for here. Um, I like that diamond block painting a lot and it looks really cool. Like what's cool about these paintings is if you can't get any more like, uh, you know, awesome paintings. If you just kind of do this diamond painting and put like two next to each other, you can do like four or three. I think it looks really cool. It's just a nice little feature in my opinion. I don't know. Um, we could probably put something in here. I mean, it's kind of a tight squeeze, but I think it looks really cool. And maybe we can even get like, um, Maybe what we can do here, let's kind of see if we can get like a little archway going maybe of some sort. Maybe take some quartz stairs upside down. That's terrible, but what can you do? So then we'll go ahead and what we can do is just kind of do something like that. Just to kind of cover it up a little bit and it will look nice. Except in here, that doesn't look that nice. So then that probably looks really bad too. That will work actually. I mean, I don't know what else I can really do with it. So we can kind of do this. That'd be nice. And uh, we have a nice little middle point right here. So what I was thinking now is we can go ahead and let's say we go ahead and place boop boop. This is just going to be a little placeholder block. We can go ahead and stick an anvil up top here. Boom. Just like that. I did not think this through. So let's go ahead and delete that anvil real quick. And um... I just need a placeholder block, like I said, and then we're going to go ahead and grab a couple beacons, you know, boop, and then like that, and then we can go ahead and take the anvil and place it right above it, so it's going to do that. We can delete this, drop another beacon down so we can crouch, okay, crouch, beacon, perfect. Now that painting is going to be a little off center, but what we could do if we really wanted to was just go ahead and do something like this and just add another little you know, diamond block painting there. And you guys will kind of see what I mean, how I like the way it looks. So you can have something like that. It looks nice. It's very basic, I'm aware. But I don't know what else I can do. So now we're going to go ahead and grab some chandeliers. And I like grabbing the black and the white. And I mean, we still have like a pretty big gap there. So if we just put something like that, that would be perfect. And then we can kind of just work our way like around. See, I don't I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing at all. I suck at this. Okay, so what happens if we put that there? That's not gonna work. It's gonna connect up with the wall. So okay, chandelier. Not gonna work. Instead we could probably just do like a, you know, a beacon like this for lighting and then just hang like a, you know, an anvil on top of it. That's our best bet. Really basic, but not much we can do about it. Okay. So not bad. Not bad at all so far. This is completely off the top of my head. So... I don't know. Something we can do, we can go ahead and grab like a couple little, um, I know we could do it actually look really nice. Let's go ahead and grab some, let's grab some logs. Like let's grab some like spruce logs. Let's place one like this, or let's go ahead and place this, this, and then that. Okay. So then what we can do, let's just go ahead and grab some buttons, place them there. We can place buttons on the floor now, can't we? And on the ceiling, I think. Yeah, we can. That's cool. I completely forgot about that actually being a thing. Um, something we can do is go ahead and take this sandstone here and just kind of drop it down a little bit. Make it look nice. And something I like to do is we can get like a little um, kind of like a little pressure plate and we can grab, let's see... We want some decorative blocks, so we can grab like um, a blue orchid and a flower pot and we can just throw something like that down and then 
you know, or we could just stick like a little flower pot and a boot there, and then you could have like a little thing there. And it just looks nice. In my opinion. It just kind of makes everything kind of stand out a little bit, so. Really cool. Um, now. We can kind of think about what we're going to do here. So, truthfully, what I would like to do is go ahead and let's grab our pillar quartz back. And let's kind of finish laying this out. We can go ahead and take the pillar quartz, right? And I kind of want to come off like right here. Boop, 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 boop. Just like that, we'll come out a... Maybe come back, just actually one more block. Just like this, come back a little bit. Then we have a little bit of space here, right? So we can do something like that. And then right here, you know, do like stack up some pill quartz and whatnot. So there's that. Come out a couple blocks here. And this is just like a very small apartment, like living area. We can then like divide. Actually, let's come out like one more block. So we can kind of divide this evenly. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. This is going to be terrible, but hopefully you guys like it. I'm just freestyling. Thought it'd be something different. So bring that out. That's nice and even. You now we can stick couch, stuff like that, like TV on the wall, you know, dress it up, make it look real nice. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And what I want to do now is, if I can, is go ahead and bring something out in the middle here. Now, I know to you that's probably going to look a little bit weird, but what we can do is just go ahead and take like a pillow quartz up here. And on this side, it's going to be covered up, obviously, you know, from the wall. But over here, I think it's going to look normal. It should anyway. So we can bring this out. And kind of like build up another pillow quartz here and we can kind of like build ourselves like a nice little like kitchen area I would I would think so maybe do something like that and then like right here um, well, let's see we could probably do like a little um, like a dining room table here Maybe kind of bring this over right here and then up. And then we can do like a like stairs going along this wall here. And then we'll have like, um, you know, there'll just be like some storage and stuff back here. So kind of curious to see how this is going to work. So far, so good, really. Um, I don't have any complaints about it. It's kind of cool. I think anyway. And I'm just kind of connecting this up here. <clears throat> so let's bring this up here just to kind of keep it uniform you know and then yeah so let's grab our sand and let's fill this in okay so I'm gonna fill in this little section first and we've been going for 12 minutes not too bad and see what I mean like you're gonna cover up that wall and you're going to kind of have a little section there. I mean, that looks kind of strange. But I don't know. See, like, I, I don't know. I'm going to grab some swiftness, too, as well. That's water breathing. I don't want that. Get out of here. Okay. So let's go ahead and fill this in with swiftness. Okay. Okay, and we have like, nope, that little gap there is just a weird lighting thing. Okay guys, so what do you think so far? Like, I know I'm terrible at interior, you can be honest with me. <laughs> but I'm trying. This is like my second or third ever attempt at interior. It's something I've just never really like, grasped the concept of. This doesn't even need to be here, now that I see this. So that's kind of pointless, but we can just go ahead and just simply do something like that and then just fill it in. So that's what I'm saying. We can put a little kitchen here, a little dining room table, you know, and we can go ahead and drop this down as well just to kind of even it up a little bit. And then what I like to do here is we're just going to go ahead and kind of do the same thing here, you know, just kind of cover it up a little bit. We can drop it down here as well. Just like that. Just kind of make it look a little bit better. 
So if, if, even if it's something as simple as just kind of doing this, you know, looks a lot better. Okay, so I kind of want to lay out the steps for the next one. What I was thinking is we can go ahead and like start the steps right here, you know. So if we're going up, boom, nice, it works out, a lot of steps, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of place some random lighting around until we can kind of get all this stuff sorted. So that's all I'm doing here guys, just random lighting. That way we have some light on the build. We can kind of see what we're doing here. Okay. Same thing back here. Just give me some light. Let's even this up. Boop, 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 boop. And then throw some lighting there. Good. Perfect. Okay. So now what I was thinking is I know it's going to kind of screw up that wall a little bit. But we can kind of trim this wall back. Okay. That's what I'm thinking here. Kind of trim this wall back and what we can do is do this and then we can bring this up as like um kind of like a pillar you know like that and it's still all right we can still really work out a kitchen area here i know that's gonna look a little weird that's okay though yeah okay and what we could do just do somewhere we have like dark oak logs and it'll just be like do 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 you know like this and we can do this all the way kind of back this little staircase area here trust me it will look really nice or if you don't like the logs you know we can um really kind of change it up however I feel I feel like that's too much wood but I don't want it to be too much sandstone either you know what I mean so we'll just stick with the wood I think and um, just take some anvils simply and just place them just like this like I said I'm terrible at, at stuff like this but okay not bad not bad at all um, what I'm gonna do here is just kind of do this and we're just gonna cover up like this part a little bit here so that's what we're doing here you can kind of cover it up a little bit and um, what we can do now is right here just kind of make ourselves like a like a little doorway and that will be where we'll have like a little closet in here this will be like a little storage space Maybe even a bathroom. It could be a bathroom of some sort. And what we could even do here is let's go ahead and do like something like this and across the top there. And then this can be like a little linen closet in the bathroom where you keep all your um, your towels and your washcloths and stuff like that. So a little bathroom with a little linen closet here. And to make a linen closet, we can just do something like that and, you know, just kind of fill this up and... You know, there we go. Nice little linen, linen storage closet here. Looks great. So as you can kind of see, we, we got the floor plan. At least my floor plan. I mean, it's not the best floor plan in the world, but it's something. It is definitely something, like I said. Um, I'm thinking maybe what we can do here is let's grab our paintings. And let's try to get this big old TV painting because it looks really nice. So let's go ahead and I can't remember how big the painting actually is. I think it's a, let's see, how long is this wall? First of all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So do we have a middle part? We do. So this is going to be our center part right there, right? And actually, I'd want the TV to sit about there. 
Um, okay, that's the middle part. So we know the TV is gonna be like, there's the middle, I think it's gonna come out. I think it's a two by three, if I'm not mistaken. mistaken. I think it's like, I think it will fit in there perfectly. It could be bigger though. It definitely could be bigger. So do we have like a wall we can try this on? See if we can get this TV. Come on. Okay. Oh, I just had it. See, I do that all the time. Of course. We're gonna get this TV. It's gonna happen. Okay, so it is a one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's four blocks. So this is going to come out like that. So we need this wall to kind of be one shorter in order for the TV to fit, to fit comfortably. So let's go ahead and let's do that real quick. Let's bring this wall one block shorter. Okay. And we'll fix the rest of this in the next episode when we decorate. So don't worry. We will fix this wall some way, somehow. Okay, so right here, this is going to be the pillar up. Do, 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 do. Okay. But yeah, we'll, we'll definitely fix this wall up when the time comes. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And there, the TV's going to be even. So now, I just had it. Dang it! There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Big flat screen TV on the wall. Perfect. And then yeah, we'll continue furnishing and stuff in the next episode. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Or maybe in the next episode, we'll lay out the floor plans and we'll furnish after. So... Yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Hopefully you don't mind this whole, like, freestyling the interior thing. I think it's going to be pretty cool because it's definitely, I'm learning, and if you guys are not good at interior either, you can learn with me. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys are brand new. And uh, I'll see you later in another video. Bye-bye.